Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, and Yozori. Bluefish, check. Bluefin tuna, check. Well, it looks like the pieces are falling into place pretty well as we enter this first month of May. And if you've been waiting for the arrival of spring bluefish, I hope at least you have your gear ready because they are here. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Will they or won't they? Well, they did. And I imagine it will only get better in the coming days, weeks, maybe a month or more, let's hope. But those bluefish are all throughout the range. Tell you what, down in Cape Henlope and in Delaware, for example, that's where Chuck McKenzie hit a 10 and a half pounder on cut bunker in the surf. He weighed that in at Rick's bait and tackle just the other day, all the way up to Raritan Bay as well where Captain Vinny Mathinski of Morning Dew, he started the week off on Monday with some stripers and this good 13 pound bluefish. They're whacking plugs like this one for Bill at the tea jetty in Atlantic City, reported to us from the folks at Offshore Bait and Tackle. Same for Manasquan, where Pat Murphy risked a pricey SP minnow for a pair of 10 pounders this week. He weighed in over Jersey Hooker Outfitters in Brick. Old Hopkins, old plugs, old Adams. Swap out the hooks, swap out those trebles, bend down the barbs, swatch out for those soft shads because they're chomping around. Now you can prospect the inlets and the beaches with plugs, troll ponytails or bucktails in the back. And of course, bait, always a prime bait prime selection for going for those bluefish. Young Zach here, he'll tell you that. He chunked bunker in Surf City on Monday for this 10 pounder. Liza at Creekside Bait and Tackle said she's happy to see more of those young anglers getting involved. And with the spring bluefish involved, that's a great time to get the kids out there on the water. Remember the finest days when I was a kid running around the bay in the little runabout looking for blues with my dad, my brother. And hey, don't forget too, the Fisherman's 2019 Dreamboat Fishing Challenge is officially underway as of May 1st. And that minimum weight for bluefish is 15 pounds. I expect we'll see a few 15 pounders here in some of these areas, maybe even the upper reaches of Barnegat Bay here as well. An awful lot of great prizes on that Dreamboat leaderboard too. By the end of the season, all you have to do is be on that board you subscribers, of course, we're going for that top prize again, the 23 Steiger, an Evan Root E-Tech 250, Lawrence Electronics, Navionics Charts, Ingle Coolers, Ingle Cooler, two gallons of Tecron and a global fish mount. Not too shabby. Again, that's for subscribers. Make sure you're subscribed to the Fisherman Magazine for your chance to win. We've also got the first annual Black Drum Fishing Contest in New Jersey. To enter, you don't have to be a subscriber, just go to blackdrumbattle.com. If you're already a subscriber, you're already entered to win. You just wanna bring that black drum to one of our certified way stations, all the Dreamboat leaderboards, all the Dreamboat way stations in New Jersey, plus a couple of extras. You can find out a little bit more at blackdrumbattle.com. We don't have the way slips out there yet. If you've got a big boomer yet, go to that website, download the way slips. We hope to have them in all the shops by the end of the week. But those big boom boomers are already on the prowl on Delaware Bay. Quite a few of the boats are uh, scheduling those charters, and I know some of the party boats are getting out there as well. Make sure you get in on it. They're also a little farther to the north. Rocky McGuigan says a few dinner-sized specimens a little north of Delaware Bay, but those fish are in. More weekies are on the prowl in Cape May County as well. They seem to be getting a little bit bigger too, just in time for the dreamboat. The folks at Grassy Sound Marina and North Wildwood said Johnny Kustner here had them while lightly jigging soft plastics on the outgoing tide earlier this week. Good sign. Hopefully we'll see some of those up in Barnegat Bay and up on the Raritan as well soon enough. Again, one of the things that I like to do when going after weak fish, I like soaking those plastics. Put them all in a heavy duty Ziploc bag. Grab some of that finescent shedder oil and squeeze that in the bag. Soak those things pretty good. Just don't leave the bag lying around the house. You'll get in trouble. I know that for sure. One lure that already has a full on stink attached to it is the gulp nemesis. And Dave at Absecan Bay says he's finding striped bass out back along the sod banks and they love the gulp nemesis. Keep that in mind. Of course, Andy at Riptide says his Riptide rotters are doing pretty well for folks dead sticking along the beaches of Brigantine. Seven-year-old Dominic Diversa here, he hit a 12-pounder along the Brigantine seawall last week. 
If you're using those clams, those riptide rotters, you can expect a drum as well. A few more black drum coming in uh, in the last several days. A few more 10 to 15 pound or so stripers along the central Jersey beaches. They're taking bunker chunks. Uh, they seem to be in the, that, that 10 pound to 15 pound range. Uh, what looks like a little bass burglar here, a striper he held up at Grumpy's this week. That's Wyatt with a 12 and a half pound striper. A lot more of these in the wash and those bunker chunks are getting it done. Again, they're scattering a little bit more up on the Raritan Bay. Those big stripers are into spawn. So you find them scattered a bit as they move up to Hudson to do their thing. Fill up the tackle box though. He did say there's still some good action out there on the Raritan Bay as of Wednesday when Lenny P caught and released this big moose. Good striper. Uh, out there on the Raritan. Of course, the big news this week was out of the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission where they had their striped bass hearing. Uh, they voted to have the striped bass technical committee uh, being tasked to come up with a set of options to be presented at the summer meeting in July. They had planned to reach a coast-wide reduction in striped bass harvest by around 17% in 2020. Expect a comment period, public comment sometime this summer, and then regulatory changes will be debated and announced sometime in October. Now, part of the thing that they're discussing, put it on the screen here, the vote the other day was uh, maybe there's a minimum size limit for the entire coast. Maybe there's a slot limit that would prohibit the, the uh, harvest of fish over 40 inches. Maybe a mandatory use of circle hooks when fishing with bait. And there could also be a provision for states to do a time and area closure during the spawn and that would lend to their conservation equivalency approach. Now, striped bass is a big topic of conversation. We'll have it all written up in the fisherman and the fisherman.com as the months progress, but look for that public comment period to start sometime this summer. I know striped bass is gonna be a topic of conversation this Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. at Tackle Direct. The Fin Chasers boys, They'll be out there doing a uh, striped bass seminar at Tackle Direct. If you're in the Egg Harbor Township area, you might want to stop by Tackle Direct this Saturday morning, 10 a.m. I'm sure those fin chasers boys too are happy to know about those uh, bluefin. The folks at Jingles in Beach Haven had a tuna report over the weekend. Heard a few bluefin caught, but this one especially, Marty Mannion, Captain Nick Perello, and Ryan Zelk brought the first bluefin of the 2019 season into Beach Haven Marlin and Tuna Club. Now, if you're looking to give some of that offshore action a shot, maybe heading out to do a little prospecting, keep an eye on that marine forecast. Seas are expected to build as we go towards the latter half of the weekend. Next couple of days could be good. Could be good for striper fishing. Just keep an eye on that weather forecast. Remember, too, that if you're heading out to the Poconos, you gotta keep an eye on the weather. I know that from George, our Pocono Outdoors guy. You know, Jim, we have a saying here in Northeast Pennsylvania, if you don't like the weather, just wait 15 minutes. Well, we've been waiting for a couple weeks here and it's still terrible. Wind, rain and cold, it's been going on for about three weeks now and it doesn't look like there's any end in sight. But that didn't stop the guys fishing the ninth annual Bi-State Shad Fishing Contest last weekend. What a great turnout. They had about 1,072 anglers participate in that tournament. But there could only be one winner. Kurt Ankum weighed in a 5.444 pound shad to take the number one prize in the tournament. They had people eagerly turning in at the scales. Kids were involved. It was a great event. And we hope conditions are much better for next year. Now, the weather is terrible, but the fish are already wet and cold. And if you don't mind getting out a little wind, wet and cold, you can get yourself some great fish. Lots being caught, great stringers of brown trout, largemouth, smallmouth, even stripers. So you guys just got to bear it, get out, get those lines wet. But from Pennsylvania, I'm George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. Remember too in New Jersey that our April TOG action is done. Longtime subscriber Ron Slaminski got his personal best on the final day. Tuesday, 13 pounder at Cape May Reef. Now TOG won't reopen again in New Jersey until August. For now it's a waiting game and we're waiting for black sea bass in the middle of the month. And of course the fluke season in New Jersey to commence on May 24th. Now the May edition of the Fisherman Magazine is out. In that edition you can find articles on bowfin, 
freshwater Jurassic Park species, humpback sea bass, back bay fluke, may stripers, Cape may stripers, and of course, all the details on that black drum battle. It's all there. Pick one up where you get your bunker chunks and your clam chum and your SP minnows. We'll see you again next week right here at thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evan Rude, Lowrance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.